The rise and fall of Paul Castellano is a significant chapter in the Gambino history. It demonstrates ruthlessness of mob life. We'll not only discuss the rise and fall, but also lessons you can take away. Paul Castellano, also known as Big Paul, was a prominent figure in the Mafia, specifically the Gambino crime family, one of the five families dominated organized crime in New York City. His rise and fall offer valuable lessons about power, leadership, and the consequences of greed and arrogance. The rise of Paul Castellano rose through the ranks of the Gambino family, through his connections and his ability to generate money. He was known for his business acumen and his ability to expand the family's interest into the legitimate enterprises like construction and trucking, Castellano became a trusted advisor to his previous boss, Carlo Gambino. And after Gambino's death in 76, Castellano assumed control of the family. Lessons learned, network and building relationships. Castellano's rise was fueled by his connections and relationships within the mafia. Building strong alliances and networks can help in climbing in the ladder of success in any field. Diversification. Castellano's move into legitimate businesses showed the importance of diversifying one's interests relying solely on illegal activity can be risky, but branching out into legal ventures can provide stability and camouflage illegal earnings. The fall. Castellano's downfall began when he faced challenges from within the Mafia. Some members of the Gambino were unhappy with his leadership style and his focus on white collar crime. Additionally, Castellano's decision to distance himself from traditional Mafia practices such as sharing profits with the low ranking members alienating him further. In 1985, Castellano's reign came to an abrupt end when he was assassinated outside a steakhouse in Manhattan. The hit was orchestrated by John Gotti, a rival within the Gambino family who believed Castellano was weak and out of touch. Gotti got the green light to do the hit from the heads of the other families as they felt Castellano was very greedy and put himself first. Castellano did have an inkling that Gotti was moving on him and was due to summon Gotti to a meeting where Gotti would be executed. However, Gotti made his move first. Another very important lesson about making moves. John Gotti moved quickly and as a result of his action, it sealed John Gotti's fate as the head of the Gambino family and Castellano's fate being a gruesome and bloody death. John Gotti's overthrowing of Paul Castellano was a significant event in the history of the Gambino crime family and the Mafia in general. Gotti orchestrated Castellano's assassination to seize control of the family and the manner in which he did so illustrates the ruthlessness and cutthroat nature of organized crime. Background John Gotti, also known as the Teflon Don, was a high-ranking member of the Gambino family. He rose through the ranks due to his charisma, street smarts and willingness to resort to violence where necessary. Gotti believed that Castellano's leadership was weak and out of touch with the traditional values of Mafia, including loyalty and respect, planning and assassination. Gotti and his close associates, including Sammy the Bull Gravano, conspired to overthrow Castellano and seized control of the family. Aftermath with Castellano out of the picture, Gotti quickly assumed control of the Gambino crime family. His reign was marked by increased violence and basically raising criminal activities, earning him both admiration and notoriety within the underworld and the public eye. However, Gotti's flamboyant lifestyle and high profile status eventually attracted the attention of the law enforcement leading to his arrest and eventual conviction in 1992. Lessons learned, power, dynamics. Gotti's successful assassination of Castellano underscores the importance of power dynamics within criminal organizations. In the Mafia, leadership changes often occur through violence and betrayal with ambitious members willing to eliminate rivals to advance their own interests. Calculating leadership, Gotti's ability to manipulate 
the situation to his advantage highlights the importance of strategic thinking and careful planning in leadership. Gotti recognized Castellano's weakness and capitalized on them to seize control of the family. Consequences of violence while Gotti's assassination of Castellano was successful in the short term, it ultimately led to the increased scrutiny from the law enforcement and contributed to Gotti's downfall. The use of violence can have unpredictable consequences and may ultimately lead to the downfall of those who employ it. Lessons learned, respect and loyalty. Castellano's downfall highlights the importance of respect and loyalty within any organization. His failure to maintain these qualities among his subordinates led to internal strife and ultimately his demise. Adaptability Castellano's reluctance to adapt to change, changing mafia dynamics including the shift towards more violence, violent and aggressive leadership styles prove fatal in any leadership position. It's crucial to recognize changes in the environment and adapt accordingly. Arrogance Castellano's arrogance and pride and belief is in, in his own invincibility blinded him to threats around him. Overconfidence can lead to complacency and vulnerability, making it essential to remain humble and vigilant, even in positions of power. In summary, Paul Castellano's rise and fall offer important lessons about the significance of relationships, adaptability, humility and respect in leadership. His story serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of excessive pride and the consequences of losing touch with those you lead. So there you are guys, the rise and fall of mob boss Paul Castellano. Let me know what your thoughts are and if you like this video today, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe, share and like this video. And if there's anything else you'd like me to cover, again, leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next one.